everyone. Welcome to Dan Riddle's Fine Art Photography. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do um, cloning effect. So here I have four photos. What we're going to do, I'm, I'm actually in Bridge right here. So what I can do is I can show you the final product of what it's going to look like. Give me a second. And load, 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 load. Here it is. This is the final project of what it's going to look like, and I'm going to show you how to make it. So let's go back into Bridge, and we're going to go to Tools, Photoshop, Load Files into Photoshop Layers. So this is going to merge them all, or not merge them all, it's going to throw them all into a separate layer to where we'll be able to work on them. While we wait here, it's processing all the raw files. There's one. This is actually really easy to do. Uh, a trick that I have to, um, a trick that I can tell you is when you're doing this, try not to um, overlap in the images. I can show you why. It just makes it harder to edit, but it still looks really cool. Um, so try to space yourself out in the photo as much as possible. Um, when you uh, when you're too close, you start to get clipping, and I can show you what that will look like when all the photos pops in. Do 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 do. Our, we're almost done. Final photo, perfect. So right now, what we're going to do is go to each one of these photos and click the mask, um, the mask button, except for the bottom layer. This one right here is going to be the bottom one is going to be our uh, background. So we're going to go up to here. The best way to do this: take the paintbrush and just paint yourself out of the photo. And this is what I mean by clipping. See how, um, let me go back here. So when you start painting yourself out in the photo, whoop, I'm on the wrong layer. Step back one more time. Add a mask, perfect. Make sure the um, mask is clicked so you're not actually editing the actual photo. So make sure this mask is uh, selected. Then we'll go in. I'm going to change my brush, down, brush size. And then when you start painting over, make sure it's black and white and have black selected so you can paste or so you can um, paint out. Because when it's on white in the foreground, you paint it back. You paint it back in. So black in the foreground to take away from the mask. Get all that out. So I have a little bit of clipping here, but that's okay. So we're going to do here. Sorry for the beep. I have Facebook open in the background. So we're going to do Command I, and that will invert it. So now it deleted everything except for, or not deleted, it took away from everything except for what I had uh, selected. So I took this away to invert it to where it reveals it, if that makes any sense. Now we're going to fix this clipping because that does not look natural. So what we're going to do is switch. So if white is in the foreground. And we're going to paint in the rest of my shoe here. And then now we're going to switch again. And then we're going to paint the second clone in. So the clipping. Just get this. Get it as close as you possibly can. So 
So it looks, oh, need that shadow in there. And then we're going to blend this, just get it to look normal into the, um, to the back of the sofa. Perfect. Then zoom all the way to fit on screen. There we go. We have one down. So let's hide this guy here. Go into this guy. What we're going to do is now take him away. And we're pretty much going to repeat the same instance. Take him away, then invert the photo. Get all of him out of there. I'm going to change my brush size. It's done a little bit faster. Do, 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 do. See, I got more clipping because I was sitting next to each other on the couch. That's okay. And then Command I to reveal him. And now we got to get this guy painted back in. So back to the paintbrush. Back to flip. Oh, wrong one. Paint him back in. Minimize this. Let's get a little bit closer. So it looks as natural as possible. Almost there. Get as close as possible. And then we're going to Start slowly filling in this white gap here. Make it appear like my jacket and stuff was behind. Get the rest of this so we can zoom out a little bit, fit on screen a little bit closer here. Then and then what we can do. Flip this. Get as close as I can to my shoe. File, fit on screen. So far, this is what we have. We have the three guys. This does not look natural. So I have to go in. And fix this. Um, let's invert it. Oh, a little bit too far. Let's pull this back a little bit. Looks better. Yep. Now take these guys away. And this one is just easy, so we can just make the brush size as big as I want. Let's go. And gone. Fix the rest of this little wall here. Command, control I, get him in there, and then pop, and then pop. And there you have it. You can get all three. This is how you clone yourself into a photo. You just take four separate photos or however many photos that you want, clone them into each, or throw them into a Photoshop layer, and then mask it, and then paint yourself in and out of the photo to make it appear like you're sitting in the same room. 
looks like my leg over here got a little bit messed up. So let's do a little added bonus and fix that. Fix my leg. Fix these controllers so it's not glitchy. Now I'm starting to take away from the um, my shoulder here. That looks good. There we go. And back to full screen. There we go. Now we have four people. All right. Stay tuned for my next video. Um, I'll find uh, another trick to show you guys. All right. Bye.